Hi guys, or hi NJCL, Sawete? Sawete NJCL. So, um, today is the first day of October and I have my free period. Since seniors are allowed to leave school during their free periods, I decided to go home and make myself the breakfast that I did not eat before getting to school this morning. Um, so we are making pumpkin pancakes. And now you may be wondering, Savvy, what does this have to do with your job as NJCL president? Well, first of all, you're impatient. Second of all, I figured I'd keep myself busy while I told you about it. I'm gonna spill everything everywhere, aren't I? Okay, so, what do I need? Talha can like cut this out, I think. Okay, um, so essentially, for NJCL right now, I've been planning a lot of stuff for our fall planning meeting. Fall planning meeting is the big, joining of the committee and the board and it's normally like five days but because of covid it's shorter so this year it's like two days friday and saturday and in that time i'm going to be proposing a lot of really cool things that i'm super excited about so um in the course of this vlog you'll see me make some pumpkin pancakes most important thing, obviously, and do some proposals. So I'm working on a scholarships proposal for fundraising for new packet awards for people to attend convention. I'm working on, well, meme wars will be in the future, probably for spring meeting, an open meeting proposal so we can have that in December. Um, and then a proposal about including students on the DEI committee. So a lot of equity-based work. Do I need anything else from the fridge? Uh, no, we're good. Um, and I'm really, really excited to share that with you guys. So, um, yeah. Okay, pumpkin pancakes are done. They look like this. I'm holding them so that they don't fall. They look really good. Um, and this is a controversial opinion, but I put vanilla yogurt on top of my pumpkin pancakes. Some people are like, maple syrup is the best. It's the only thing they can go on them. No. No, vanilla yogurt on top of pumpkin pancakes with, now that it's fall, a little bit of cinnamon sugar. Yes, yes, yes. Look at how good this looks. This looks fantastic. I'm so good at fall. I think I should only exist in fall because like that's that's when I thrive. Are you done? No, not yet, but. <laughs> Well, your birthday's in fall. So My birthday's also in fall. And then we have the fall planning meeting for NJCL. It's just an all around great season, great time. So I'm gonna eat these pumpkin pancakes and I will get back to you. And the next time you see me, I'll probably be doing NJCL work. Hey guys. Um, so today we have a very special guest. Um, it is the one and only Steph Pegasus that I got from Virginia Classics Week. I don't have a name for it yet um so let me know if if you have thoughts and ideas uh this pegasus will remain on my head for the duration of this report <clears throat> okay so for fall planning meeting uh tonight i'm gonna work more on my scholarships or not scholarship but packet award uh proposal and the open meeting proposal and then the dei committee proposal and uh yeah i'm really really excited about those things i think they're gonna make a lot of impactful change in JCL if they get approved. Um, other than that, I've been in contact with the Louisiana co-chair to figure out when the NJCL officers can meet with um, the Louisiana officers. It's kind of a tradition. Oh, got a text. Very cool. Um, <laughs> to meet with the Louisiana officers about spirit and dance themes. Nolan and I actually worked on that uh, together, and we both came up with some like fantastic ideas, and I'm so so excited for you guys to see them uh, and hopefully the Louisiana officers like them and have some input of their own. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on. I met with Mr. Jackson and Miss Buis about the agenda. It is a long one. So wish me luck. I might have to use this a couple times. <laughs> um, yeah, hope everyone's week is going awesome. All right, guys, it's T minus one minute until the fall planning meeting starts officially. I am super excited. I actually had to go to school today. Um, I was supposed to take this on Wednesday, but then school got surprisingly canceled. So I have, um, whew, 
<laughs> I have a, um, I just sit for a paper, um, which is like the IB way of saying I took a test. So um, I'm really, really super excited. We are starting now. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Like the top, the, this way. This is our NJCL vlog contribution for the day. We just finished fall planning. Talha is at a band competition. All the other officers are recording their vlogs. Everyone wave, say hi to the vlog. She explained it pretty well. Yeah, and then uh, here, tomorrow, the officer, or tonight, the officers are going to meet again because kind of ran out of time today um, to discuss some very, very important issues like whether or not a theme for the dance should be you like jazz. Uh, drop it in the comments below if you think it should be. There is a correct answer here. Ben, <laughs> I'm, I'm for the whip and ben -ay -ay, but they want you like jazz. Uh, there's also Blue's Clues. Um, anyway, we've got a lot of exciting content coming up for you guys, so catch you on the flip side. Bye! What would Athena still be called if she had no friends? Pal-less Athena. Hello vlog, this is Alex Chow, your NJCL first vice president. I'm here in Boston, Massachusetts. The weather is very nice today. Um, autumn is starting to settle in. We have the browning and reddening and oranging of trees all around. Um, I've just been out for a very nice stroll for everyone interested. Over there somewhere is MIT. I just came over from BU, and somewhere in this direction is Harvard. Now you guys know where I live. Hi everyone, I'm Alex, and this is Miss Sturgill. Miss Sturgill, Miss Sturgill's waving at you guys. Um, so this is me meeting with my um, mentor, um, who is the pub public relations chair, and this is where we talk about all things publicity and promotion, and we come up with new ideas on how to grow our chapters and members. So something else that I've been working on is planning publicity workshops for state and local chapters, um, which will help them to improve their promotional uh, tactics and to increase membership and chaptership. Um, and so usually these workshops involve finding uh, presenters who are, you know, what I like to consider experts in the topic that I'm looking for. So for example, for the first um, workshop that I held, um, I did a publicity workshop for beginning of year events, and I had two schools come and talk about the different events that they held at the beginning of the year to attract members. Um, and of course, aside from that, I also made my own slideshow um, that I used to present to everyone. Something else that I do is I write a lot of emails to state officers and state sponsors um, in order to help them do publicity stuff. Um, for example, there is a recent email that I sent out about NLE resources um, for outreach and recruiting new chapters, which is right there. It's beautiful. And I just sent it out. And last of all, Nolan and I are working diligently on the National Classics Week booklet, and it is going to be great. We have many fun surprises in store for you all, so stay tuned and get pumped. But until then, bye bye. Hey everyone, I'm Nolan Heinrich, your NJCL Second Vice President for the 2021-2022 school year. And I'm here to show you what it's like to be the National Second Vice President. Uh, so one of the first things I did when I took office was work on the Club of the Month packet. This is by far and away the most labor intensive thing I did all year. So I really wanted to focus on some of the ideas that we had been pushing last year, which was taking a wider worldview of ancient history. 
So with that, came up with the theme, Celebrate Diversity in Ancient History. I was super excited about this theme and went right to work to researching. So I created a list of some civilizations and some women in ancient history that get overlooked, some that are more known, uh, but needless, we still need to research them and learn about them. So with that, I created some spirit themes and some spirit projects for everyone to do with the local level. I've had some fantastic submissions so far and I can't wait to see what everyone does next. After that, I created some month, some things to do for the months of June, July, and August, because a couple of the months isn't active then, but there are definitely still some chapters that want to stay active um, and hang out with their club, so I gave them some ideas if they wanted to do that. After I created them, I put them into a fun little Canva graphic and shipped it off to Jumag to be published. After that, I created supplementary resources that serve to help educate everyone, give them explanations for the themes, um, explanations for the projects I did, and just use them as a fun way to teach the chapter about the things that we're going to be learning this year. Uh, so I think they're super fun. There's a lot of research, but I think it's absolutely worth it. As second vice president, you have to work with the first VP to play National Classics Week. So this is what the process looked like. Alex and I sat down in a Zoom meeting and planned a general theme for the week. So this is something that each day would correspond to. Uh, from there, we chose a smaller theme that would go for each day. So this is something a bit more specific that each day could focus on. After that, all of the officers chose a day that they would write about and wrote about a two, three hundred word article uh, that corresponded to the theme that they were assigned. From there, we take all of those submissions and we create activities for each of the clubs to do. So these are service projects or spirit activities or something that clubs can have fun but also give back to the community too. Uh, just to celebrate National Classics Week, that's what it's all about, to celebrate the classics. And we're really excited for the things that we've came up with this, with this year. After that, we put it into a Canva graphic, threw it into Jumag, and sent it off to the committee to be approved uh, to be published. In addition, we're bringing back Classic Holiday last, this year. We had it, its debut last year, um, and we're really, really excited to bring it back. So we have some new things planned. We're going to have some new activities, some new speakers. Um, so yeah, come join us in January for Classic Holiday. Some of the other things I've done as Second Vice President have been judge the Club of the Month submissions every month and re release those on the social media page, create the National Service Project to be done at National Convention next year, and create new spirit themes for every day at National Convention. I'm really excited about those this year. We're going to have two new types of uh, spirit. We'll have DIY spirit and propolis. So what DIY spirit is going to look like is at the spirit and service orientation meeting, everyone, all the representatives from the state will get their materials. And that night at fellowship, um, everyone should use this bonding experience to get to know each other and create props for the um, upcoming spirit. And probably spirit will feature no props at all. So neither handmade nor bought ones will be allowed. We are really highlighting our ability to cheer um, and make some noise. So looking forward to those next year. So you've heard about some of our officer duties, but what's it like being a national officer in general? So usually we have meetings every couple months, sometimes more with the officers, but usually with the adults it's every month or two. Um, and those meetings are usually on Zoom. We'll have our first in-person meeting in February, which I'm really excited about. Uh, but other than that, they're all on Zoom. So how they work is the president calls it to order. Um, they are the one who set the agenda, and additionally with their mentor. Um, and we just go through the meeting agenda uh, and talk about what we need to talk about. And if we have action items, sometimes we'll form subcommittees. Um, I'm part of two subcommittees, I'm not going to mention them in this video. Um, but yeah, we make subcommittees, and then those subcommittees meet on their own, and we have their own meetings. Um, and they get new things done, and it makes things a lot easier. Being a national officer doesn't just mean that you go to big board meetings, do your job, and call it a day. Um, no, sometimes the national officers will set aside time at the end of our meetings, or make separate meetings just specifically for it, to just have fun and get to know each other. Um, we're online, so sometimes it's hard to get to know each other, so these meetings really help us be a family, because at the end of the day, that's what we are. For some people at the top of the organization, we, we really do have to look out for each other. Um, so that's something you do get as a national officer, is that family. It's a bond that's stronger than anything I've ever had before, because we're all going through this experience together, and something that not many people have, so it's, it's really exciting to get to know each other um, and be a national officer together. So hopefully next year we can see you out there too. 
Solete, my name is Dakota Morosi, and today I will be taking you through a day in my life as the current NJCL Communications Coordinator. As seen in the previous clip, I wake up every day at 6 a.m. and then promptly open my blinds to let in the Florida sunshine. Then I go to my entirely purple bathroom and I brush my teeth. I'll speed it up here, but I do so for exactly two minutes. Once I'm done practicing dental hygiene, I pick out the most JCL outfit possible. The shorts from the next clip I believe I bought from Wisconsin at Fargo, so shout out to them. After that, I make my bed, but I get tired of doing it by hand, so I call up my friend Hecate, goddess of witchcraft, and she does it for me. See? Magic. Once I say goodbye to Hecate, I decide that blue nails are a carnal sin to wear when doing JCL, so instead, I pick out a yellow polish and get right to work. After that dries, I secure my officer pin onto my shirt and then use my JCL merchandise pen to write my to-do list for the day. First up on the list is practicing the Aeneid, and I recite the entirety of book one until I'm positive that even Arato would be proud of my lyrical poetry skills. Crossing that off the list, I decide I need some refreshment and sip some ambrosia Zeus gifted me at one of Miami's colloquia. Then, I play the opera Carmina Burana, sung only in Latin, while I read Mary Beard's History of Ancient Rome. I'm not quite sated after finishing the book in 10 minutes, so I go for some light reading and grab Alan and Greenos to finish. Ooh, just kidding, that was a joke. I don't actually do any of that in the morning, especially not waking up at 6 p.m. Um, right now I'm filming this um, on a weekend and I'm catching up um, on some sleep and I actually woke up uh, a little late today, we shall say. Um, but no, that, that is not realistic at all. I don't really do any of that. Um, but yeah. Hello, my name is Dakota Morosi, and I'm your 2021 to 2022 NJCL uh, Communications Coordinator. I am from Florida, specifically about an hour outside of Orlando, Florida. But yeah, so as I said, I am filming on a weekend right now, and I'm just going to take you through a little bit of what my day actually looks like when I have some NJCL work that I need to do. And no, it is not as crazy as, as any of that. Typically, if I keep myself organized and on track. Oh my god. And typically I try to organize it so that during the week I have more time for school just because I am a senior and I have college applications and all of that. So I try to make it so that I do most of my NJCL work on the weekends so that during the week I can focus on my schoolwork. If I use my time wisely I have about two to three hours of NJCL work on the weekend. And of course that really fluctuates depending on what we're doing, um, which I will of course get into a little bit more. So as NJCL Communications Coordinator, your three biggest responsibilities within any given month are uh, minutes, the website contest, and then whatever parts of your platform that you've decided to carry on at the national level. So minutes are essentially a written record of everything that goes on at any kind of meeting the NJCL has, whether it's a general meeting or an officer meeting. And the really interesting thing about minutes is that they're taken in the moment. So it's not like I am sort of watching a, a video recording of the meeting after it happened and then transcribing from there what I hear. It's I'm typing down everything that's happening in the moment. And that is what can be really fun and also really challenging about being a secretary sometimes is the speed at which you have to take down uh, what people are saying because obviously people can talk a lot, lot faster than most people can type. So I actually, before I did any secretarial stuff, uh, I did a ton of minutes courses um, and I did a ton of typing courses. I actually don't type with the standard pointer fingers on F and J and you go from there. I just do what works for me. And I actually have a bunch of recommendations, I'll put them up on the screen now, of different websites I've used to help me get faster. I think right now I'm about 130 words per minute. Um, and then of course, uh, as you're typing everything, the moment that it happens, um, there is a lot of editing that you have to do afterwards because there's a lot of, you know, sometimes incomplete sentences or I'm not using punctuation super correctly in the moment. And so then afterwards, uh, one of the big responsibilities I have is like cleaning up and editing and tidying up the minutes um, so that they're pretty legible <laughs> to then send out to the board for them to read. And then for the second thing that I'm most responsible for, the, is the website contest. There are a bunch of different contests that happen monthly from the NJCL and I have dominion over what's known as the website contest where state and local uh, JCLs send in their websites 
Um, and if they send them in monthly, they can get something called currency points, which rack up as time goes on. And then of course, winners are eventually announced at national convention. And the third thing I'm most responsible for is, as I mentioned earlier, implementing parts of my platform. So one of the really big parts about my platform was redoing the NJCL website. And something you may not know is that the NJCL officers all have mentors. So we all have like adult sort of partners who help us do all the things that we want to do, who guide us through all the tasks we have within a, a given year. And my lovely mentor, his name is uh, Mr. Bob McDonald. He's the NJCL communications chair. He has luckily agreed to take on this really big project of redoing the NGSTL website with me. And where we stand right now as of um, October 2021 is we're looking into different um, CMSs to host the website on. So a CMS is a content management system for those who don't know, who don't do web design or anything. And that's basically just like, where do we want to host it? Do we want to use Wix, do we want to use Weebly, do we want to use Blogger? There's tons of different CMSs we can use. And right now we're researching what could be the best. And then something I didn't mention earlier, but of course is really important also is the collaborative nature of the NJCL board. So a lot of my month also is spent working on things that other officers need from me or helping them out with projects that they need. So for example, this month um, on this weekend, I am filming and editing this officer vlog for Talha which is a really cool project that he is doing, but in any given month, it can change just on what other officers need. And this is something really, really special that I personally love about the NJCO board because often there are things we're doing separate from each other, but there's also always a lot of projects that we are doing together. And that's always really exciting. Um, I really love the camaraderie that I feel. And I, of course, I really love my fellow officers. So if you guys are watching this, shout out, I love you guys. I love working with you guys, um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it is probably a little longer than I intended it to be, but I really love the NGCL and I love the work that I'm doing. And if you see this, I mean, if you think, wow, maybe this could be me, um, I say go for it. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out all the other officer vlogs that Talha is putting out and peace out. Walete. only um, bit of that sketch that was based in a little bit of reality was me listening to Carmina Brana. Um, I do ballet, that's something about me, and my mom and I went to see Orlando Ballet's production um, of Carmina Brana, I think in 2018 or 2019, it was pre-COVID, um, and the opera Orlando was actually singing live. Um, I think it was like 200 members of the opera and then of course the full ballet and so it was a very large production um, and it was so good I actually went to see it twice and my mom and I fell in love um, with the music the opera from it and I, I've never been a big opera gal not to say that I don't like opera I actually I listen to that soundtrack regularly or somewhat regularly and I actually really enjoy it so that was the only part that's based in reality was that I actually do listen to Carmina Brana sometimes Hello NJCL, it's your parliamentarian Taha Ali here bringing you your NJCL Parley vlog. Today I am at the Georgia Aquarium with some friends. Yes sir. And I, and I thought this would be a great introduction to where I'm from home of the world's largest. If you ever wondered what an NJC officer does outside of national convention, this is it. Hey guys, so uh, today I submitted my September EOM. EOMs are end of the month reports that basically all the officers have to um, get into their mentor, to the president and to the committee chair. Um, and that really just keeps us accountable uh, throughout our term. So this month, I've been working on my So You Want to Be a Parliamentarian guide that will be out um, pretty soon. So I am uh, very excited about that, among other things. I've been working on uh, an amendment that I cannot share right now. Top secret. And I've been working on the executive board duties and guidelines document that we are currently editing since it has been edited in a bit. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit uh, of the insight of what a Parley does 
Hey exactly. guys, so part of the parliamentarian's duty is meeting with the constitutional advisor, and that is Mr. Compton over here. He's giving you a fist bump through the Zoom screen. Uh, very cool guy. So I just finished a meeting with him uh, discussing our plans for fall planning. Hey guys, this is our national board. Uh, we like to have meetings on Zoom. They're saying hi. Say hi, guys. Hello, hi, guys. Dog. Hey, Alex, how many house students do you have? Um, I'm not going to provide that information. That's that's top secret. That's 40. Hi guys, so today I am making, finally, the doodle poll to figure out the best time for state editors and local, they're always welcome, to convene for our first, our first monthly meeting during my term, which is really exciting. I, well, I just attended a WCL meeting this morning, well this afternoon, and we elected our new editor, so I'm really excited to get to know not only other states' editors, but also our, our new editor as well. So this is really, this is going to be a fun year, and I'm excited to work with everybody. Doodle, in case you don't know, is a really great way to figure out what days work best and what times work best. You can put in many different options, and people can click if that option works for them. Or there's even an option where you can you can click this really does not work well for me. So yeah, it's a pretty good platform for that. So if any of you guys in the future want to do something of the sort regar regarding, you know, mass participation, <laughs> this is a great way to figure out the best way to do it. Here it is, a great, a great start. Pretty funky and fresh. So here's the final result, looking pretty fire, like the torch, pun intended, as always. The day has finally come. We are having our first monthly editor meeting in 43 minutes, which is really exciting. I plan to focus a lot on bonding today because, um, we gotta get to know each other first, and then we can feel more comfortable sharing work, sharing ideas, and collaborating throughout the rest of this year. I plan to cover a lot of basic things, such as what I need for my next torch, just to give them a heads up before we release official information. Here is my Google Doc so far. <laughs> we are going to try to do discuss during this meeting. So yeah. I'll update you. Oh, awesome. there's my little cat. <laughs> We're starring soon. We just finished the meeting. Everybody is super nice, and I'm really excited to get to work with everybody this year. This is amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, y'all, here's the Jumag. I have started working on the winter 2021 edition of the torch us i would love to show you but it's a surprise and you'll have to wait till december 1st 2021 if this gets released before then anyway here is my favorite thing in the world jumag and editing so yeah very important issues like whether or not a theme for the dance should be your life jazz uh drop in the comments below if you think it should be there is a whip and beignet i'm i'm for the whip and beignet
Ayati Aliki, my name is Irene Calderon, I am your current NGACO historian, and these are my officer vlogs! So like a large part of my job as a historian is to judge the photo of the month contest, so I'll probably show you some behind the scenes stuff for that right now. So I know taking like a video of a computer is like always a classy move, but this here is the form which I get some but not all of the photo of the month responses and I can see them here. My favorite way to like look at them, especially for pictures, is to like see this spreadsheet. It's a spreadsheet like that. And you can see it's been a around for a couple years. Um, it's really useful to have like everything all in one place. And basically what I do is that I just click these photos and I can see them and download them and stuff. So like that. So another thing that's cool about being an NJCL officer is that we have our own mentors. They're like a person on the committee that like we can especially rely on if we want extra attention on our projects or something like that or they're just nice to like touch base with and we also um send out end of the month reports every well month um just to like check in and they always like appreciate like seeing what we do each month <laughs> yeah so my my mentor her name is Ms. Jort, Ms. Jennifer Jort, she's the graphic arts chair of the NJCL. And I'm going to show you the EOM that I just submitted recently for November. So this is my historian at NJCL email. Of course, I can't show you all of it for like confidentiality stuff. But if you're ever curious as to what it looks like behind the scenes, well, there it is. Um, this email I have up right now is the end of the month report I actually recently submitted to Ms. Jort, my mentor. And I just basically summarized all the things I did for November. Um, and yeah, this is my theme. It's sort of like, here I can like, it's like an ocean theme because I like the ocean. <laughs> just I really just like the sea and stuff. And it's purple, which is funny because we're purple and gold. And yeah. I think about this scrapbook while I walk my dog. I think Swila. I think about the scrapbook in the car. So, also as officers, we have our own groovy um, NJCL board chat. And like, just as a special treat for you all, I can, I can read like one message. So, Nolan said, I listened to All Too Well 10 minute version for the first time this week. So, there you go. <laughs> Exclusive.